What is going on guys? We are back with another video today. We're doing another career simulation on Madden 21 and obviously as you can see by the title of the thumbnail, we are going to be doing a career simulation of Ray Rice, the infamous Ray Rice, uh, one of the biggest stories in the NFL since really Michael Vick and I can't really think of one that has been bigger since, you know, even now anytime any sort of domestic uh, violence happens it always comes back to him. We all know the story. We all seen the video slash videos. Of course, now it seems like they're in a good place. We have no idea behind the scenes, but he seems like he is uh, taking responsibility, which is you know good. And realistically, uh, I wouldn't say he deserved a second chance, but we've seen. I wouldn't say worse, but we've kind of seen just as bad, if not worse, as of late. But. Since the NFL has become a more dangerous environment, it seems, uh, off the field, it's more accepting almost, right? Like, we've seen some pretty bad stuff, yet players have still been able to play. So, I honestly think if Ray Rice wasn't the guy, like, you, you insert someone else and then Ray Rice did what he did, like, a couple of years ago, he may have gotten another chance. It was pretty bad, don't get me wrong, but obviously a very, very promising player who was balling out. I mean, four straight seasons of a 1,000 yards... Uh, you know, the touchdowns weren't super great. They were in 2011 and 2012, but before that, not super great. Uh, I can't remember what happened in his final season because it looks like he played basically the entire season but just didn't have that great of a year, I guess. But, you know, 2011, he had 4.7 yards per carry with 12 touchdowns and 13.64 for yards, which is really good. Also, uh, you know, his yards receiving, you know, not bad at all, obviously. 3,000 receiving yards to his 6,000 rushing i mean he was on a hall of fame path he really was i mean there's no there's no really denying that he was he was on par to become a hall of famer without a doubt i mean 2011 was one of those greatest type of running back seasons ever you know that's i, I mean just numbers wise that had to be in the top 20 right that was a really good year overall super fun to watch and obviously not a fan of the Ravens at all, but obviously I wanted to tune in just to see what he was able to do. I think it was against the Chargers. I can't remember, but it's one of the you know biggest plays I remember from him was that fourth and long where somehow he turned a check down into a first down when he cut across the field and just burned everyone, just barely getting the first down. Absolutely insane stuff. And obviously I would love to see what his career would finish as. And honestly, I just don't think... Madden's simulation is equipped to give him the stats that he probably deserves, but it's the closest thing we have. Ray Rice, I can't remember if he was 5'8 or 5'9. There's so many different pages that uh, that have different things. You know, there was one that said he was 5'6. I think he was 5'9, but I'm just going to say 5'8 because he did look really short. You could easily argue that he was 5'7 or 5'6. Uh, obviously, the biggest arms in the building. The guy literally just had massive legs on his arms. Uh, but this is what we gave him. 4'5. Technically, it was a 4'4, 4 4 2, 4 4 6 type of runner, but this is 92 speed, 93 excel. So, very fair, obviously. Uh, I didn't want to scout him fully because obviously the Ravens would then potentially grab him. Uh, late second round pick, just like he was in real life. So let's see where he lands. I would say probably no later than like 16. A lot of running backs going. And let me tell you, you're all making a wrong choice. <laughs> let me tell you, this uh, is Ray Rice fella. There's something about him. And of course... Of course, Ray Rice would go to a franchise like Washington. I'm not saying they're a bad franchise, right? But I'm just saying they've they've been in the media for the wrong things for their fair share as well. I will say it's not a position that a lot of teams need. So Ray Rice going there, it's not great because they do have a youngster there as well. But I don't know. I, I'm, I don't want to force the decision. But like, is this supposed to be a resim? But it's supposed to also be a resim of his career. Nah, you know what? We're going to force him to start. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I think, uh, man, it's tough. Because, like, it's a resume of his career in a, in a league where everyone kind of has their starting running back. There's only a few teams that don't. These are the ratings I gave Ray Rice. 92 speed, 93 excel, 94 agility, which is actually, if I can recall, pretty close. If I'm not mistaken, his agility, his speed, excel to agility all did kind of tick one up every time. Uh, as far as his, like, juke ability goes, 86 juke move. 
81 spin, even though he really didn't go to the spin move too often. 78 truck, 82 stiff arm. Just to be fair, you know, you could have raised all those higher, but I don't want it to be a god right out the gate. Very solid receiving uh, ratings because obviously he was a very good receiving back. Just a good player in general. Ball carrier vision and carrying 81, 3 and 81 only because, once again, I don't want his overall to be, you know, massive. Speaking of massive, look at those arms. Also, start of elementary, which I think is fair. That's the thing with these running back ones. The only teams that really could use a running back more than anyone would be the Jets, Dolphins, and uh, Falcons. But those teams all have battle lines anyways, so I don't know, dude. Uh, I suppose we just start him here because otherwise he's just going to be a backup for four seasons, which just wouldn't make a lot of sense to draft a guy in the second round if he's going to be back. Wait a minute. Green Bay. What what do you mean? First season, we'll see how they performed, and they made the playoffs at eight and eight. Oh, I forgot we're in the NFC East. Never mind. <laughs> it doesn't take a whole lot. Not a great season, but just good enough. Let's take a look at those stats. Ryan Fitzpatrick probably looking for a new quarterback, right? Ray Rice. Well, not a great year. It's kind of like uh, Antonio Gibson's almost a better player or something. They got Gronk here in Washington. Okay, interesting. Ray Rice's numbers as a receiving back. Not great, but still has a chance at MVP because obviously if you're the uh, MVP, Rookie of the Year, if you're the uh, home team or the user team, you have a very good shot at it. And wow, beating Seattle, not bad. Losing to the Cardinals, unfortunately, but interesting enough to say the least that this team was able to actually beat a team in the postseason, especially the Seahawks and the Browns shockingly win the Super Bowl. <laughs> Wow, who would have thought that was going to happen? Ray Rice in the postseason. Not super great. Not great, really, but 4.6 on the first game, I guess, per carry isn't terrible. Really good center. Normal dev, normal dev, normal dev. Uh, this guy's a... I don't know. This guy is normal dev. You can tell that this guy's a run stopper because he has insane excel, no speed or agility. And shockingly, we were right. All right, so uh, this team actually added some players. They added an old-ass Tom Brady. Uh, they added... Who else they added? Someone on defense, wasn't it? William Jackson? Did they? I thought they already had him. Uh, they did some things, you know. Missed the postseason at 8-8. Eight and eight. I mean, consistency is key. Uh, Tom Brady, pretty good year. Definitely better than Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ray Rice... Got over 1,000 yards. The yards per carry a lot better than before. Only two touchdowns, though. So Gibson, he might not technically be the starter, but he sure as hell feels like it. Uh, Curtis Samuel with a massive year. Didn't change his scheme up or anything, so a little surprised that uh, the numbers are the way they are. But I guess it doesn't really matter because it means nothing to anyone. Also, just like last episode or last video of this series, uh, Patriots win the Super Bowl, but... We're going to be dropping devs for, uh, or, you know, raising them if it's unfair that he doesn't get a dev up for Ray Rice if he sucks or is good. So uh, keep that in mind. Obviously, young enough to be, you know, where, hey, that's a pretty decent season. I'll allow him to have star. But if he has a season where it's under 1,000 yards and nowhere near double-digit touchdowns, then probably going to be dropping him to normal. I do not know what Washington is up to. But uh, they take an 80 overall running back that looks like literally better than Ray Rice now, but as a rookie, maybe even the best, depending on this dev, potentially one of the best rookies I've ever seen at running back. Once again, in the second round, they grab a hidden development corner. Washington's just on fire, but that doesn't give them a good reason to draft a running back when you have Ray Rice, who's... He's okay, I suppose, but... And they still have Gibson. What are they doing? Did they also draft a... Oh, no, that's the running back. I was about to say, what? Okay, I don't know. 8-8 <laughs> eight eight again. But it's, once again, good enough to make the postseason, so I'm not going to complain about it, obviously. And let's take a look at Ray Rice's numbers. Is he going to be dropping in Dev? Kirk Cousins quarterback in Washington again, right? He started here, didn't he? Uh, Ray Rice... I mean, the touchdowns suck a ton, but, like, the yards are there. Receiving, you know, they're kind of meh. I mean, I guess he doesn't drop Dev, but I also am not going to say that he's having the greatest of career so far. I will say there's a good chance he probably does get let go as well, and we lose to Tampa. Not really surprisingly, but, you know, still would have been nice to win. As it's the Browns versus the Bears. Two teams have been winning a lot of Super Bowls with these updated rosters, and... 
the well, the Browns have just won all year long, no matter what your roster is. And the Browns, of course, win. So Washington takes a quarterback who looks, I mean, okay. Kind of looks like uh, right-handed, but much faster to a tug of Iloa. Uh, they get a hidden development pass rusher, which I'm sure they need uh, around here. And then a decent-looking tight end that you can actually develop. Not once again, not a bad draft. And no postseason. Oh, this time is not even close to A&8. Walter Edmond actually did start, right? This is the guy, right? He started uh, Ray Rice. Best season yet, ironically enough. Uh, good timing because he's probably going to be a free agent. Gibson's worst season. Yeah, maybe Ray Rice gets re-signed. I don't know. Uh, but if I'm him, i probably try to hop ship, right? You get a really big contract in free agency as well. Uh, pass rush. Maybe they did need the pass rusher. I'm not sure why I'm looking at these stats, though. But here we are. Uh, let's go to the Super Bowl. So far, not really super promising for Ray Rice. But, I mean, the yards are there. The touchdowns just aren't. And the awards aren't because, you know, the team's kind of bad. The Browns win yet another. So Ray Rice is a Seahawk, and the Seahawks are not going for a new quarterback. They actually draft a guy that's hidden. <laughs> Wonder if Washington wants to try that next time. Yeah, I got him. Uh, of course, what is the dev? Only star, so I guess it really doesn't even matter. Uh, wait, to be fair, it is some years down the line, so maybe Russell Wilson retired, but I was about to say, where, wait a minute, where's that one quarterback guy? But of course, uh, Ray Rice, the uh, clear-cut number one running back here, so there's no questions about who should start and all that. I'm going to be honest, Drew Locke, is just, it's just, if it hasn't happened yet, it just never will. Uh, Josh Reynolds, not actually bad, right? You know, superstar dev. Uh, Ray Rice, 85 overall at 26. Good but it would nice, you know, be nice to see him get to great. So the playoffs on the new team, and we have nothing to show for. 5-11. and 11. I don't really care, though. It's still about Ray Rice and, you know, not bad enough to go down to, to normal, but maybe good enough to go up to star. Superstar, anyways. Should have maybe looked at the receiving stats, but once again, it's Madden, so you're not going to have great numbers there. Let's actually take a look at uh, what... What's his name? Christian McCaffrey's receiving numbers have been maybe even Camara in uh, in Sim because obviously if those numbers suck, then there's really no point. Really good season by McCaffrey for yards per carry. By the way, I mean look at these numbers. Like like look at this, dude. Come on, like really, Sherman. Sure, and then for Camara, better, but obviously not you know where we would expect him to be. Yeah, you know that's actually pretty decent. That's pretty fair actually. We moved to Seattle, and guess what? The same result. Well, actually, that was what we had last season, isn't it? I forgot. Never mind. Uh, Ray Rice, my guy. I'm going to do it already. There's no point in changing. As he's going a normal dev, he's also wearing number 29, which i got to fix. Like, that's just disrespectful to Earl. And you know, like you give him the number. Thank you. All right, so the draft for uh, the Seahawks, they had the first overall pick. They go with another quarterback. This one looking pretty promising, 77 overall, hidden development trade, and it's an X factor. Might be a little too late, though, right, for Ray Rice because he's normal. He's 28, 29 years old. They did have a really good draft, though. You can't deny it, but I don't know if they're going to be able to get going quick enough. And, hell, I don't even know if Ray Rice is still here. Because, obviously, his contract could have been a two-year, three-year. Who freaking knows? And still a bad season, despite the new quarterback, who is an X-Factor. Okay year. But, honestly, this scheme just sucks, it seems, really. I don't know how the Seahawks get to the freaking postseason every year like they do or pretty much every single Madden season, right? Like, it's just, it doesn't look good. At this rate, if Ray Rice doesn't find a new team or, you know, a better scheme, whatever it is, I don't see him lasting too much longer. He's 29 now. He's probably already regressed. Not that he ever even got that high of an overall. But like I said in the past, I do like these types where, you know, it's not the predicted outcome where it's like, okay, they last... 14 seasons they get a thousand yards and 10 touchdowns every year and they become a hall of famer and all that right now he's looking like he might not get those especially the touchdowns and ray rice currently is a free agent and honestly at this overall i don't know if he actually will find a job as a starting running back to the playoffs and the seattle seahawks jump up to 11 and 5 i'll show you guys who didn't cheat i don't give a damn they have bill o'brien by the way maybe that's why they're struggling nothing uh, but, you know, here you go. That's that's what you need to know. Take a look at the stats. 
Uh, the quarterback, better, but not by much. Ray Rice, he should go back to star. I don't know if it's going to be enough to save him, but maybe. Uh, receiving, you know, nothing to Ingram and all that. Cool, dude. All right, can they do it against the Rams? They can. Going up against the Packers, and they lose, which is just not something that has happened in recent history. As a Packers fan, I should probably feel a certain way about these things. The Packers win it all. Of course, they do here. The one time I don't want them to beat the Seahawks, and they do. Ray Rice doesn't go up in dev, but obviously I will force him to go up in dev. He already lost, uh, you know, ratings that he probably shouldn't have going to 30 because he probably should have been, you know, normal to star there. I don't know. Do they regress the stats after or before that? I don't even know. But Ray Rice, he's still decent. But obviously, that overall is looking a little iffy. Headed to the playoffs for the new team, the New York Giants. Not a starter here. Nine and seven apparently isn't good for good enough for the playoffs. And is this not the quarterback that the Seahawks had? Right? Um, if I'm not mistaken, of course, Ray Rice still gets some pretty good numbers, though. Some of his best touchdown numbers of his career. Can't really say he deserves to go down to normal because obviously he isn't the starter. And looking at the receiving numbers, he actually put up over a thousand yards total. I don't know what it is about these backups and putting up really good numbers, debatably even better than the starting numbers if you look at total yards and touchdowns. But, I mean, I guess it works out for an aging, you know, Ray Rice. Uh, 40 to 21, so the Colts have won a few Super Bowls now. I don't know what the contract for Ray Rice would have looked like, so obviously uh, he could actually be gone here already, and he apparently is... The question is, would he have retired? I freaking hope not, because I did not get to look at the numbers. I feel like it would be a one year too early, but you never know. And the Giants are in the postseason, which is good, because this is going to most likely be Ray Rice's final shot. Okay season, but wow, Saquon, really not that great. The number two is getting some numbers here, though. As you can see, some really good yardage as well. Maybe he isn't our number two, actually. I can't even remember. Well, he is our number two. He's the number two, but... I don't know what his sub is like, so I, I have no idea. But, like I said, this is most likely Ray Rice's final season. Not a Hall of Famer. Just simply not a Hall of Famer. Receiving numbers aren't actually that bad either. Just got over 3,000 uh, yards receiving, 11 touchdowns as far as rushing goes. Uh, not even 10,000 yards, 60 touchdowns. So not a Hall of Famer. Actually, not even as good as real life, barely. Like, he's... I mean, I wouldn't even say he's as good as real life because yards per carry-wise... But real life Ray Rice played like half the seasons and is only like 3,000 yards behind. So, I mean, I don't even know. But let's see if he can do it. The potential final season, Giants versus Saints. They win. Huge win. Going against the Panthers now. And they lose. I'm going to be honest. I really thought if they would have got to the championship round, I would have went into each game and simmed it. Did not think they were going to lose to the Panthers, but they did and the Super Bowl winner is the Panthers. I was actually about to check Ray Rice's uh, postseason numbers there, but then I forgot that retirements show up right there, which is a little debatable, right? It seems kind of dumb for it to happen, but maybe he's still here. He is... Johnny Rivers, interesting name there. Is he still here? Is he still in the league? I looked in free agency. I don't see him. I looked around the league. I don't see him. I have no idea where he went. But Ray Rice is physically gone, so 32, 33 years old, whatever he is, he's gone. Those were the stats. A really weird, you know, uh, what is it called? The really weird end. Because once again, you, you would like to see it actually retire, but uh, I guess not. But that's going to be the career reason of Ray Rice. Apparently, he got out when... I mean, it's not like he got out. He didn't choose to leave, but, you know, he was out at the right time. I don't even know, but... <laughs> I would have loved to see Ray Rice finish his career because you just don't know. You know, so many people have a great start to their career and then they just can't finish it due to injuries or just not good anymore. You know, things happen or they join a team that's really rough with their blocking and just doesn't work out. But Ray Rice was looking like an absolute god. That Ravens team was pretty solid. I don't know. Who knows what would have happened? But, of course, EA says, no, you're not very good as... It's one of our first kind of, I wouldn't say failed career resims, because obviously it was still a good season, but overall not as good as we would normally see. We'd see Hall of Famers and whatnot, but regardless, that is going to be the career resimulation of 
Ray freaking Rice. Let me know if you guys have any uh, other ideas for for names in the future. Maybe like someone like Jamal Charles or something. I still want to do a Sterling uh, Sharp one. There's got to be a lot of names that you guys can think of that I uh, that maybe I haven't or I won't think of. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, PK Plays, and then twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care for streams. That's pretty much it, though. Hopefully, you guys come back for the next video. But until next video, see ya!